In the past we have been told to write up a one to two page summary of your project and goals indicating how long we wish your project to last, how many people it can employ, and include a very rough estimate of how much money you will need to run the project. You should also have a short paragraph about yourself and why you are qualified to run the project. A reader's take on Zim Redemption I have to disagree with what was posted last night from both parties' suggestions on the Zim redemption rates. In my research the bearer bond is to be redeemed to the holder at face value. It is in essence a promise by the country issuing that bond backed by that country's wealth. A holder can demand the value in that country for anything owned by that country period. The rate is equal to that country's dollar one for one one colon one. In this case the Zimbabwe dollar or ZIG. The USD or any other country's currency has no bearing in the value until you exchange it. When I looked up the exchange rate for the ZWL Zim Fiat on Forbes, the value was 0.003106. The 100T note was worth in USD 310 billion 600 million. That is 310 billion, 600 million dollars. It could potentially be worth 500 billion in consideration of the ZIG. The calculation of 5 billion overall with 10% 500 million as front money makes me question where the money is going. According to the numbers quoted with the St. Germain S. Trust, a number with around 140 zero S following and the Rodriguez estate a number with about 120 zero S following along with possibly Dubai 1 and 2. Why would there be a need for them to deduct any of our bond proceeds for humanitarian use I can understand for payouts to be trounced due to the excessive amount of monies to be paid out. Just my thoughts. Anon. On international default rates, John F. Kennedy Jr. on Telegram, dinar will value at a RI rate from the time Iraq was invaded which would put it around 3.223.78. Zim holders. Zim was being offered at a default rate of first to 100 TAA Zim bond notes up to 30 T notes at 20 million each, 31 T notes and up would default to 15 million decreasing the more notes you own. However especially for those with humanitarian projects that the above will not cover the AA Zim R bonds and we have been told they cannot be renegotiated. Ask for the contract solve round rate. These rates can be negotiated on your second visit with your projects and team members.